Welcome to this introduction to the statistical tools in Origin and how to access them in statistics mode. During installation, users have the option to pre-install a collection of Origin statistical apps and enable a specialized statistics mode. You can also modify your installation to switch to statistics mode. This mode customizes the Origin interface to make statistical tools more accessible and easier to navigate. Drag and drop an Excel file into an Origin workbook to import your data. Highlight the sparkline cells. Right-click and select Add or Update Sparklines. In the dialog that appears, change the plot type to histogram. The sparkline cells for numeric columns will now display histograms. To insert statistical summaries into the column headers, click the Comments header row, select Insert User Parameter, and click the Formula button. Add mean and standard deviation as your parameters. You can quickly check basic statistics by highlighting a data block in the worksheet. The status bar at the bottom displays summaries such as count, mean, and standard deviation. Right-click to customize displayed statistics. Origin offers a wide range of data manipulation tools available under the column, worksheet, and restructure menus. To filter data, select a column in the worksheet and click the Filter Toolbar button. Use the Filter icon in the column header to display specific categories and hide others. Click the Filter button again to remove the filter. For statistical analysis, activate the worksheet and navigate to the Statistics menu. Origin provides a comprehensive set of tools from basic options like descriptive statistics and hypothesis testing, to advanced methods such as multivariate analysis, quality improvement tools, and time series analysis. Note that full access to advanced tools requires Origin Pro. To perform column statistics, go to Statistics, Descriptive Statistics, Statistics on Columns. In the dialog, specify your input data and grouping columns. Enable options for histograms and box charts, then click OK. You can send the graphs to PowerPoint or Word. Or click the edge of the page to use the mini toolbar to send the entire report. For guided statistical analysis, use the Stats Advisor. It helps you select the appropriate analysis tool, in this case, General Linear Regression. Set the dependent and independent variables, then click OK, keeping the default settings. To modify the model, click the green lock icon and choose Change Parameters. Under the Stepwise tab, choose Forward Selection. Under the Settings tab, expand the model to include all second-order interaction terms. Click OK to update the model. The results will now reflect only the significant terms selected by the Forward Selection method. When Origin is in statistics mode, the plot menu is reorganized for easier access to statistical graphs. To create a grouped box chart, make sure column E is highlighted and choose Grouped Box Charts, Index Data. Set two grouping columns then click OK. To adjust the layout, click the green lock icon, select Change Parameters, move column D from Group Plots by to Split Pages by, and click OK.
To create a distribution plot, highlight column E, go to the plot menu, and select Distribution. This generates a histogram overlaid with a fitted distribution curve. Use the mini toolbar to customize the graph. To analyze process stability, connect to the process spreadsheet. Highlight column B and column C and choose X bar R control chart. Set column A as the subgroup size column. Click OK to create the control chart. Double click to activate the graph and hover over abnormal points to view detailed information. For correlation analysis, select column B and create a scatter plot. Use the mini toolbar to add a linear fit line. Click the line and use the mini toolbar to display R squared and Pearson's R values. Use the data highlighter to examine outliers. Apply the mask tool to exclude outliers. The fitted line updates accordingly. To revert, simply unmask the points. To compare fitting results between male and female groups, use the data slicer from the mini toolbar. Duplicate the graph window and change the slicer condition to compare results side by side. 